Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker Tutorial. Um, in this video we will be uh, kind of making-ish our uh, crafting thing which I'll get onto later. Um, and maybe uh, if we actually have time we will uh, wrap this series up and uh, do some uh, adding of different blocks so we have actually got our rainbow block that we're going to be adding uh, later on maybe well that may they may fall into the other one depending and um by the way whenever i do end up finishing this series there'll be a two week break for christmas uh, just cuz everyone needs christmas <laughs> so um yeah uh sorry for that but after in the new year we'll be having some new content um i may as well also put like a little poll thing on i don't know um or just post in the comments whether you prefer another advanced tutorial like this or kind of new tutorial so for bit for brand new straight up beginners uh so which would you prefer on that one um so anyway let's uh, go straight in and um we are going to create an object and uh, it's going to be our object crafting and now crafting because we don't have an inventory because you know I chose not to do it because everyone else had done it I thought, well, you can't really do crafting then, can you? So what I'm going to do is kind of explain to you how you do it if you had an inventory. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, what we what we can do is just, I don't know, make a button press. So let's say, keep press, I don't know, let's have a C for crafting, okay? And we can have a create event, and we're going to have to have a step event as well. So this is just going to be how you could go about it, and a, a bit of it. Um, which is why it won't take as long, because it's not going to be uh, working at all. Global.crafting equals false. So uh, that's going to be our base variable thing. If we press the C key. If um, global.crafting equals well if it's true then we want to set it to false uh if it's not true we want to set it to uh true and this will toggle whether it's actually visible or not uh also we probably want to make that a um draw event, maybe draw GUI, I don't know, it depends. Okay, so, um, yeah, here's how you would go about doing it. So, this is all set up now, so, uh, this is how we do it. So, um, it's just crafting. If global.crafting, uh, what are we going to do? Um, Well, we are going to. I oh know. Let's just let's just comment it. Let's just write something out. So, I say here what you could put. Yeah. You, so okay. Let me just explain this first, and then we can write it out. So um, basically, what you could put here is um, something that draws out some buttons. So, for example, you could just go. You know, draw round rect and then you could just stick in some variables there uh you know whatever you want to um what oh <laughs> um and that would just make your button and then you could have like mouse checks using if mouse x is bigger than blah 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 I'm sure you can you're all capable of doing that um so then you could check whether you're over it and then if you've clicked it you know you could have something like I don't know if inventory if you have an array or a DS grid or something you can have like I don't know that or you could check all of them equals item required or you know whatever you um feel necessary and then you could go on to say whatever else you wanted to do um, so you know if you've got you've drawn the rectangle if our mouse is over the rectangle we've pressed it you know if we've got the item and then you could just go on to craft it 
Uh, I will actually leave some links to some um, mm, some inventory tutorials. Actually, probably scattered around here somewhere um, because uh, I know Heart Beasts, for example. Um, I found very easy to actually put into crafting, um, which is is pretty easy to do. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave some links to them. Uh, so here you could put some code to draw some buttons. Check for mouse collision. And then, oops, check for the required items. Oh, yeah, then give you the item, give you the crafted item. Item, and actually remove the, um, move the material. Uh, item. So yeah, without um, whoops, wrong way around. Without actually making an inventory, this is very hard to do. But that that's basically a base for you to um, run off there. So you can actually make your own and be a bit independent because I don't like doing all my tutorials. You know, straight up do this, do that, do that. Um, I like it to be independent. So you can go and play around with that. And uh, hmm, yeah, actually we have like four minutes, so we can. Uh, get started I guess on the um uh what do you call it the do 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 um the uh, multiple locks that's it uh, my mind just went blank then so actually gonna make a database here so it's gonna be a blocked database um script block database which we're just going to run once at the start of the game and uh, this will actually set all of our uh, blocks to the right thing so we can actually define which ones which so global dot blocks so we're going to actually make a DS grid I think yep equals DS grid to create yes oh, wait what what DS grid oh, I can't spell create uh, and it's going to be 3 by 10. I think the 10 bits just a nice big number. And then uh, DS Grid Clear. Uh, got a bit of a cold. Sorry if you can hear that. So this there. We're going to clear it. Our blocks to 0. So nothing's going to be in any of them. And then finally we're going to add the solid blocks. So this is just going to add a load of um, facts into it, so you can it'll just check along and see if you know we have if our block that we're trying to touch is solid. So this grid add global dot blocks, and we are just going to copy this down once we've done it once. And we want one one bk block dirt. Okay, so that's just our block, our dirt one, and then we can just do DS grid. Actually, we can just copy this along, thinking about it. But we very important, you need to change this to number two. And uh, this has to be to solid. I don't know if we actually use that or not. But I have put it down here in my reference, so we'd better make sure it's on there. And, uh, yeah, we can copy this down uh, twice, I think. BK block yeah block rainbow and uh, make sure to change this to two because it's like its ID number type thing and um, yeah that is it for our database we can actually just go in and um, make sure it's doing it in the level so at the end of the create event we can just run the script and it will build the database block database okay and um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it quickly now. So we'll make another script, and this is going to be the one that's checking to see whether we have a solid block that we're trying to collide with. Search blocks. Script. Search blocks. 
uh, X and Y, so it's just gonna um, search the X and Y co there. coordinate of the block, I guess. Uh, var block equals argument one, or zero even. And then we need a for loop to check through all of our blocks, all of our block numbers, sort of thing. And then I plus plus. Again, guys, this may be slightly longer. I'll probably just do a, a short one at the end of this, after this, just to kind of wrap everything up. Um, so if what we're doing here is just checking, we're scrolling through everything and seeing that if our um, block database that we've made, if it corresponds to the block that we're trying to um, uh, oh wait, true, even so if it corresponds to the block that we're trying to um, collide with, so if it's a solid block basically, it will return true and uh, finally I think we just need to go into our grid place meetings and now instead of having this, you know, if it equals this we can just straight up get rid of that and get rid of that and get rid of that and that Oops. and that there's a lot to get rid of actually and instead what we need to do is put brackets on the end and that will make sense in a minute because we will actually be going up and uh, adding our script um, place meeting thingamajiggy that we made so here we can just put script search blocks I think did we call it that? wait I spelled that wrong haven't I? search there we go and now we'll just copy this down and now what this will do is just search through all our blocks that we've made in our database earlier see whether it's true if it's a solid block and it will return true and that will basically do the exact same thing before um, but actually what we can hopefully do is now go into a player and uh, in our placement of the block okay we, we actually have a variable for this uh, place block we can change this to bk block rainbow yeah so now when we place a block it will be a rainbow block and uh, hopefully we'll be able to interact with it and actually work like a dirt block so let's give this a go so yeah all of our current blocks still work and let's place one and yeah you can see we can actually fully interact with it you know, we can walk over it there. It's a horrible uh, tile that I made there, but you know, it works as expected. You can mine it, you know. Everything you can with a normal block, you can do that, and you can do that with any block you want just by following what I showed you today. So, I will fully go into that in a bit more depth, you know, in the next video explaining how you can actually develop this and make it your own kind of unique sandbox game. But um, yeah, if you really enjoyed this tutorial, if you just enjoyed it and loved it and my beautiful narration, uh, then you can uh, uh, subscribe, like, uh, share it with your friends, or just uh, do whatever you guys do. And uh, I'll talk to you later.